Hello YouTube. As promised uh, to show you how so, some short tutorial how to start with uh, Arduino STM32, which much which is much faster. It has much more memory. It has uh, better options, much better options. For example, library. Uh, let's say that you want two serials. On Arduino Nano, uh, you have default serial, so you put serial begin and in uh, parentheses how much speed. But if you want another serial, you have to include library my serial blah 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 blah. Uh, this one just put serial. This is uh, first serial, then serial one dot begin uh, parentheses. So. There is plenty of serial ports actually. Uh, this is pin out, uh, not the best picture. Uh, I will include the uh, link in the description where to, to look. Uh, you have many serials. You, you have 12 PWM uh, outputs. I don't know how much inputs uh, you can choose whatsoever you want. Just uh, you need to think differently because on Arduino Nano, for example, uh, in the same time you are programming through USB port, camera, please copy this time, please, oh. camera, okay, thank you. Uh, in the same time you programming here, during, during programming it resets and start new program and communicate uh, to serial port to output, for example, you put uh, some potentiometer and uh, want to see or voltage or something. This one is different. By default, if you have no ST link, if you put USB port, it will not be recognized. It just d doesn't work at all. Uh, now I will pause video and disconnect this one and connect uh, this FTDI or why not, uh, sorry I'm wasting your time but uh, this is, uh, I don't know, sixth time I'm <laughs> recording and every time mess messing something. So it is powered by USB, now I will disconnect power, uh, those two wires is uh, to oscilloscope. And FTDI, uh, I will put a link in the description where I buy this one. There is two versions. Uh, this one is better, for example, uh, for Arduino Pro because of pinout. Also can work with this one, but uh, uh, you should put a jumper here for 3.3 volts. Uh, remember that STM32 works on 3.3 volts. Now, how to connect this? Uh, first, let's say ground wire connecting to this port plus connecting here and there is uh, two pins do not connect this uh, for uh, ST-Link. Now, where to connect, uh, uh, for example, what is orange, T TXD. TXD connect to pin uh, A10. I'm not sure whether I will be able at first put here. Last time I missed it. <laughs> and uh, here. Okay, now. Now, USB. Uh, always is good to have USB hub. It is powered and ready to program. So now I will start some program. Uh, for example, pin mode zero input and pin mode two output serial begin. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, delay ten. And now we should to. Uh, um, trying with left hand if possible uh, yes it is possible to upload and now we will see what there is warning but please ignore this I read on uh, github that is normal uh, forgot uh, ST link ah I put ST link 
but it should be actually serial for this occasion for uh, FTDI serial now try to upload it's a little bit slower there uh, Arduino Nano or uh, Uno or Pro but I'm suspecting that uh, it actually goes uh, the selected port does not exist uh, let me see why did that put uh, number 6 or 11 oh, I did not put anything actually no surprise yeah now control control U and again it um, wasting your time now when you see this one Starting executing address blah 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 done done and it works. I put uh, some oscillation and on uh, on pin uh, a zero I put uh, serial uh, analog input. So when connecting, it should to show me on serial uh, some output data. So. This is advantage because I will put now on 3.3 volt or the maximum. You see the number 4095. On Arduino Nano you have 1023. So this is four times more precision. Now I will put to zero, grounded, and to zero. Or I can put my finger and it will go as like crazy. And very quickly, very fast. Now I will turn off uh, serial monitor. Now, since I'm starting backward, uh, when you buy new one, new STM32 board, you cannot program anything. Because manufacturer actually locked, it is everything locked. What you should to do before everything I showed up till now, uh, until now, you should to uh download sorry um not a still link uh, but uh a still link driver um uh, 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 search um uh, s uh, let me pause with it ah <laughs> I found it. Uh, I put uh, demonstrator graphic uh, whatsoever GUI GUI uh, So you should to uh, download STM flash demonstrator uh, But during this process I'm already subscribed here you should to put uh, get software your data uh, this mean uh, name, uh, last name, and email, and uh, they will ask confirmation that you are a real person, not a robot or something. Uh, so now I will start this demonstrator. My uh, board is actually unlocked, but let's try. Uh, now uh, it might happen that it's stuck because my computer is crowded with uh, crap, various things. So let's let's try. Yes, it's stuck because I should to disconnect and connect again. Now let's try again. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Not work. Uh, let's disconnect uh, and remove voltage. Sorry, one hand is not sufficient. So without this procedure uh, you will be not able to program anything because uh, inside is by default some blinking program. Uh, somebody <laughs> has joked that uh, it is stupid to protect the blink program but this is just an uh, example. Next and there was uh, before protection, just remove protection. Click it, it's work and will uh, show you green. After that, it all should to be green. 
but there is another option uh, for example enable disable uh, uh, flush protection uh, let's say disable next and are you sure yes blue green finish it so without this program you cannot start at all this is first thing uh, second thing, uh, maybe I already mentioned, but uh, it is good to repeat. Go to sketch, include library, manage library, and begins to, to type uh, STM, STM32. Now, my li library for STM32 is already inst installed. You should to install it. If it's not there, you should to go to uh, GitHub and uh, type the same thing. Uh, install that and you will have everything you need for uh, programming your chip. Uh, in tools, board, you have boards, board manager, you have old boards, everything. Leonardo Mini, uh, zillion boards. Uh, even a tiny uh, maple mini uh, I choose uh, generic STM 32F103 C series and uh, then you you can choose which you want uh, which you have I have 62 uh, kilobyte flash if you have this one choose this one now right now is serial but later I will show you how it looks uh, uh, what is advantage, what, what is dra uh, drawback of, of uh, ST-Link and COM port on which uh, COM port 1 is my printer, uh, COM port 6 is uh, this FTDI. So now, uh, what is the problem? Uh, there is no running program, I think, and let's program something. There is some program, I don't know, pin mode, blah blah blah. Okay, let's program. Let's see what will happen. It should work. Uh, don't worry about this warning. And it say uh, something is wrong. And what is wrong again? Uh, maybe this FTDI uh, per se is uh, wrong. I don't know. So let's try Control U and let's try upload again. Compiling sketch and it is executing. So it's showing uh, oscillation and since I connected uh, on A0 uh, analog input it should to be on serial uh, showing uh, numbers. Let's uh, put 3.3 volts. So four times more precision than Arduino Nano for example. And let's put to ground zero or finger some random numbers. Okay, what I missed, let me pause and uh, think. To be honest, uh, it's recording. To be honest, uh, by means of thinking, I'm a uh, light cigarette. Sorry. Yes, I wanted to point out now you programmed your first program. So far, so good. Now you made some change. Let's say that you have delay, I don't know. Five milliseconds, okay. And you click to upload, and it will complain. Uh huh. Why is that? Because old program running, and this FTDI has no ability to reset this chip. So you should to reset chip, but. Uh, I forgot to uh, point out for boot uh, jumper. Never mind. I will uh, do it. So you reset. It st stop working. Then you can uh, control U, and uh, now it will upload board. Yes, yeah, starting and it works. Now it is shorter. Now what will happen if you disconnect? On Arduino Nano, it will continue to work. If we disconnect and connect again, uh, it will stop working. No, it stopped working. 
for this reason this jumper uh, with only with FTDI for ST-Link is a little bit different uh, serves for programming once when you finish with all testing programming and you are satisfied with your program just move this uh, jumper into zero position this jumper into uh, position number zero and it still not works but now when you press reset uh, oh, this is too small button for my fingers now it begins to work and when you disconnect connect again it works so this is fi final version and it works now let's try to uh, to think what I forgot I think nothing just uh, excursion for uh, one puff of cigarette let's disconnect uh, so this connection is uh, a 9 a 10 disconnect this everything now ST link again again before anything else you should to install a USB driver for this uh, link flash loader demonstrator uh, demonstrator I stuck somewhere um, it is called uh, let me pause again okay ST link v2 uh, ST link v2 ST link v2 dash 1 USB driver again the same thing is with uh, unlocking uh, version 1.01 uh, get software uh, since I am using different browser it asking me again uh, to put my name my last name and uh, email for which I got confirmation software download uh, just uh, click here and this is it so you now can get software this software is for uh, this ST link what is advantage and what is disadvantage of ST link uh, let's connect but before connecting sorry uh, here is on Banggood <laughs> I found there how to connect on ST link this different one than I have ground to ground uh, SW clock to SW clock on board on uh, uh, this pin this is ground uh, clock uh, dot data and plus so uh, data and 3.3 volts now let's connect uh, brown in my case I got this cable I wanted block but hey, hey. who am I to ask uh, uh, first is ground then a clock programming clock then uh, data and plus 3.3 volts what is the problem with this uh, when you after you uh, upload driver if you haven't driver this diode will blink if you have driver you will have solid light but what is the problem there is no uh, serial port data instead using uh, uh, FTDI you just plug in now now uh, this uh, USB connector makes sense now this is serial but it may happen this one so I don't know probably my computer uh, missing something I don't know and this connecting connecting again it's still showing error let's try this connect my computer is probably need cleaning connect again until this message appear uh -uh. uh, no let's try a different approach let's try program something yeah I think that this is the problem yes uh, serial instead serial put ST link now let me program now it will show you different message ignore this warning this is just some issue on github uh, there is some explanation why is that 
So now you need no need any more to press a reset button. It will reset for you. Unable to connect ST link. What I did wrong? Huh? What I did wrong? Did you see what I did wrong? Jumper is in broke position. Ha! Huh. Okay. No problem. Again. You may expect this uh, first few days until you get. Uh, now cannot find. Uh, this link now it, it should disconnect a connect again try again this pain in the ass until you start programming when you start programming then it will not happen uh, too often sometimes or this my computer now uh, it shows different instead address it it says it it working and it's showing now you need no need to to press reset button anymore let me try to change i don't know uh, uh let's say one 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 doesn't matter which and uh, upload board it started and it works now instead many I have just few um, these lines it is complicated to understand reason why they did it oh I forgot uh, USB we have no serial yet now it should works so connecting micro USB, no mini USB, micro, be prepared for that. And now complaints, there is no complaints. So now choose uh, port 11, you will cannot miss Maple Mini. Choose that one and when you click on serial, uh, this is uh, analog input. I uh, put a zero analog. I will put uh, on 3.3 volts. It's showing 4095. Huh? Imagine that on Arduino Mini Pro Uno and whatsoever on, on uh, 8 bit, uh, it is just 1024. This is four times more precise. Uh, somebody may say, so what? Okay, if you do some precise voltage measurement, current measurement, it's good to have more precision. Or let's put to ground, and it's showing zero. Now put finger, and it will showing nonsense, jumping. So you can make oscilloscope. Uh, let me pause and think what else. Uh, I think I covered everything, uh, but let's try uh, remove these two uh, lines. Remove this comment, make uh, or remove serial. I don't need to read serial. Serial begin, remove this and remove that so this is uh, PWM output uh, this is excellent for uh, motors uh, I put here to uh, 225 I'm not sure whether it will work uh, analog right uh, 1 minus I so it will go from 0 to 225 and from 225 to 0 let's try to but not sure which pin I think 1 uh, one let's confirm that it has uh, a one uh, what no it has no PWM uh, I'm not sure actually where it is um, 
Maybe it has. I don't know. Let's try. Let's try uh, to see what will happen. Probably program uh, will say, oh, uh, it cannot work. Applica application started and let's see pin uh, pin number one, A1. Let me see how it looks like. It looks beautiful. Slowly goes to maximum. Then we'll back. And this is why I like this chip. Uh, because uh, for my uh, weird uh, bot, but uh, I need remote controller. Uh, since I destroyed one, I just using potency meters, uh, which will serve for I don't know for camera and for uh, running both motors and uh, by differential uh, running left and right, and we'll see what else. So PW PWM, I will need it for motors, and you can see how it's simple. Just need to uh, put two programs, one for transmitter, one for, uh, for receiver. Uh, I don't know where I put uh, transmitter, I just moved that and... Uh, um, oh, sorry, it is somewhere in this mess. Uh, <laughs> uh, here, this is excellent stuff. This uh, transceiver, receiver and transmitter, it has ability to uh, provide a uh, very fast connection but low range or slow connection but long range they climb 1.8 kilometers probably with this antenna <laughs> uh, so with proper antenna will uh, go uh, much much more I think it cost five dollars and it is simple uh, you have one pin for set when you ground this pin it uh, uh, you with 80, 80 plus something you will get uh, what is already programmed by default uh, this is different topic okay never mind uh, I mean uh, I will program this uh, for uh, transmitter and for re receiver for board for quadcopter why I'm uh, making board <laughs> I wanted to make a car but I have no motor, have no wheels, which are expensive. It is cheaper to me to put some board and uh, uh, also uh, some, uh, this is my invention, <laughs> uh, antenna for uh, GPS instead of ceramic. Ceramic antenna are, uh, antennas are pretty bad. So this uh, has reception even in this room, a few satellites. This is cheapest, uh, $8 or, or $7, I don't know. Never mind. So, I think I covered everything. If I missed something, please comment, ask question. If something is not clear, probably I missed something. I uh, unlock ST link library, uh, FTDI. Probably I missed something. Sorry for that. So, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for wasting your time, if you are not interested in this one, but for those who are interested, I still uh, need to see how works uh, RTC clock, be because it has separate uh, uh, crystal, or actually oscillator, uh, 32.76 uh, kilohertz, so that you, you no need to uh, utilize to use uh, main pro program main processor main crystal main uh, 72 mega frequency then the di di division to make time uh, with this uh, oscillator it is easier uh, examples so far there is uh, not much examples but if you use some example for Arduino Nano it is little little bit different because for example Arduino Nano has just one serial port. Uh, you put uh, serial dot begin and in parentheses uh, speed. But uh, software serial, you can put on I don't know which pin two and three, 
uh, my serial uh, include libra library my serial uh, speed uh, and this is it but arduino stm32 has uh, already in those libraries uh, uh, as i'm show, show it right now so this uh, uh, first serial is serial dot begin a number uh, you want another serial i don't know which pins i think um, hmm, seven eight i'm not sure i will put in the uh, link in the description uh, the, uh, data in the description put serial one dot begin if you want third one serial two dot begin and so on uh, 12 P pwm outputs uh, i don't know how much analog inputs on you you can you can do many 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 things <sighs> that's it bye bye Oh, and it costs uh, just a little bit more than uh, Arduino Nano.